Shemuel Shani to Samuel 1. Now, it came to pass after the death of Shaul when David was returned from the slaughter of Eth the Amalekim. And David had abode two days in Zichlag. It came even to pass on the third day that, behold, a man came out of the camp from Shaul with his clothes rent and earth upon his head. And so it was, when he came to El David, that he fell to the earth and did obeisance. And David said unto him, From whence come you? And he said unto him, Out of the camp of Yashadael am I escaped. And David said unto him, How went the matter? I pray you, tell me. And he answered, That the people are fled from the battle, and many of the people also are fallen and dead. And Shaul and Yanu, rather, Yahuthanat, Rather, Yahunathan, his son, are also dead. And David said unto the young man that told him, How know you that Shaul and Yahuthanan, his son, be dead? And the young man that told him said, As I happened by chance upon Mount Gilboa, behold, Shaul leaned upon his spear, and lo, the chariots and horsemen followed hard after him. And when he looked behind him, he saw me and called unto me, and I answered, Here am I. And he said unto me, Who are you? And I answered him, I am an Amalekhi. He said unto me again, Stand, I pray you, upon me and slay me, for anguish is come upon me because my life is yet whole in me. So I stood upon him and slew him, because I was sure that he could not live after that he was fallen. And I took the crown that was upon his head and the bracelet that was on his arm and have brought them hither unto my Lord. Then David took hold on his clothes and rent them and likewise all the men that were with him. And they mourned and wept and fasted until evening for Shaul and for Yahunathan his son and for the people of Yahuwah and for the house of Yashadael because they were fallen by the sword. And David said unto the young man that told him, Whence are you? And he answered, I am the son of a stranger and a Melchi. And David said unto him, How were you not afraid to stretch forth your hand to destroy Yahuwah's eth anointed? And David called one of the young men and said, Go near and fall upon him. And he smote him that he died. And David said unto him, Your blood be upon your head, for your mouth has testified against you, saying, I have slain Yahuwah's eth anointed. And David lamented with this lamentation over Shaul and over Yahunathan, his son. Also, he bade them teach the children of Yahudah the use of the bow. Behold, it is written in the Sefer of Yashar. The beauty of Yashar'el is slain upon your high places. How are the mighty fallen? Tell it not in Gath. Publish it not in the streets of Ashkelon. Lest the daughters of the Palishtim rejoice. Lest the daughters of the uncircumcised triumph. Ye mountains of Gilboa, let there be no dew. Neither let there be rain upon you, nor fields of offerings. For there the shield of the mighty is vilely cast away, the shield of Shaul, as though he had not been anointed with oil. 
for the blood of the slain, from the fat of the mighty, the bow of Yahuth Nathan turned not back, and the sword of Shaul returned not empty. Shaul and Yahunathan were lovely and pleasant in their lives, and in their death they were not divided. They were swifter than eagles, they were stronger than lions. Ye daughters of Yashara'el, weep over El Shaul, who clothed you in scarlet with other delights who put on ornaments of gold upon your apparel. How are the mighty fallen in the midst of the battle? O Yahunathan, you were slain in your high places. I am distressed for you, my brother, Yahunathan. Very pleasant have you been unto me. Your love to me was wonderful passing the love of women. How are the mighty fallen and the weapons of war perished?